These Adopt Me hacks actually work. Today, we're going to test out some of the craziest hacks in Adopt Me. Let's start off by figuring out how to go and get 1 million bugs in Adopt Me completely for free. As you can see, I currently have 421 bucks, but I'm now going to go and get myself an extra 2,000 in one second. Wow, that was easy. So a bunch of you guys might be questioning, how in the world do you go and do so? Well, it's actually a trick. There's not a genuine way to go and gain yourself a million bucks instantly. Instead, people just go and purchase something and then sell it back for the full price and just satisfyingly watch your bucks magically gain. Let's check out the next hack. So we need to go inside of the pizza shop and then switch to a baby, go and grab ourselves a little aeroplane propeller thing, jump through the gap and escape using a balloon and now we're in a secret location. So to go and do so, we literally have to go and head on over to the pizza area. Let's go and press the dress up and switch to a child now. It'll make it easier. There we go, little baby cookie cutter. And once you are inside of this building, if we look up, you'll actually notice that there is a small gap. I, I wonder why there is a small gap there, but our mission is to try and get through it. So either we can use a propeller or a balloon. I'm going to attempt this with a propeller first and just, oh, we left. Okay, so as soon as we walk through the door, I'm going to activate this. Okay, this might be a bit harder than it looks. Okay, activate. Oh, we went out again. Maybe if I walk and jump, just like so. There we go, we did it. So we're going to walk and use the propeller. And just like so, I have now gained access to this very strange location. So hey, if you've ever wondered what the exterior of the pizza shop looks like, well, now you know. It's a pretty fun secret location, actually. It also gives you an insight in how Adopt Me makes their buildings. This is very bizarre looking. Today's video is sponsored by Star Chef 2, a casual cooking and restaurant simulation game. You can build the restaurant of your dreams and transform it from a humble diner into a fine dining restaurant. You can grow veggies and cook 200 different recipes from all around the world. You can enjoy and cook in different live events. Or go on world adventures searching for the magic ingredient for your restaurant. From Hawaii in the summer to the North Pole in the holidays. Add your friends or make new ones in PvPs, tournaments and chat with them. Hi. You can even host celebrities inside of your restaurant and turn it into a world famous attraction. Or go beyond cooking and learn about some fun facts about your favorite dishes. Such as this historical fact that the earliest record of fried rice is in 589 to 618 CE. I decorated my restaurant with my favorite theme being the Asian decor. Starting off with a dragon and transforming my restaurant into this amazing building. Click the personal link down below and install the game today. Up next, we're going to figure out how to become a pet in Adopt Me. Well, that sounds exciting. So what we need to do is rename our pet as A and then spacing and then A again and you become the pet. That sounds pretty easy. So step one is to go and grab ourselves a pet. I want to become a mega neon arctic reindeer. We need to select the pet that we want to go and rename, press dress up, switch to the pet and then click on the renaming system, type the letter A, and then if you're on a computer, on a Windows computer, you press Ctrl and J, and it brings you to the next line, which is bizarre. You then type A again, and your pet should technically now have absolutely zero name. It's gone. My pet's name is literally vanished. It's, it's sleeping and has no name. So the next step in that video was to go and get a tombstone. And I guess not many people have a tombstone. Then you have to turn your own username off and ta-da, you are now successfully turned into a pet and adopt me. This is quite fun. Oh, wait, did I just... Um, I did not know you could do that. Oh, no. You can even go and fly as the pet, which just makes this look even better. This next tag is going to go and glitch your pets to make them have tiny eyeballs. So what we need to do is get a golden penguin, go and put it to sleep, and then delete a rectangular bed, and watch him float there with tiny eyes. Let's have a look if this works. I have this lovely neon golden penguin. What we also need to go and do is go and grab ourselves the bed and put it into the sky. So to go and do so, we could just like lever it up and then press sleep, select golden penguin, and then simply move this thing away. Oh, oh, hello. Who are you? This might be the funniest Adopt Me pet you could ever see. Just look at its eyeballs. They're literally tiny now. I managed to shrink its eyes. 
This glitch literally only works on penguins, which is very strange. Speaking of strange pets, the Guardian Lion. I think this thing has been broken for a long time, but if we look at the icon of the Guardian Lion, it's got this lovely mane on its head. But if we look at an actual Guardian Lion, it's bald. It's, it's meant to look like this. It looks like this. Can okay, we do a side by side here to here? Well, 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 I thought we definitely needs to fix uh, the, the Guardian Lion. It just... It's broken. Imagine spending your hard-earned Robux and you and you get this. Its tail's broken and also all of its head. So hopefully they do fix that. We're now going to go and figure out how to break outside of the ice cream map in Adopt Me. So if you've checked out how to break the penguin, now it's time to go and break the map. To go and do so, we need to go and head on over to the ice cream building, just like so, you know, the lovely old ice cream. Then what you need to go and do is actually grab yourself a pet which is either fly or ride. So let's go and get this lovely little monkey called U Star Code Candy, which I highly recommend going and using if you're buying Robux or Roblox Premium or even redeeming a gift card. What you then need to go and do is get yourself a stroller. And with the stroller, you need to walk up to the wall and keep nudging into it. That's right, you literally just nudge into the wall. If you keep jumping and pushing into it, eventually you'll be able to go and get your pet on the other side, where you then go and click the fly button or the ride button. And um, now you are on the secret outside part. You then want to go and grab yourself a propeller and stop riding your pet and jump. And by going and doing so, it will propel you to the roof. And the best part about this is you can actually go and drop on the inside of the ice cream cone where the giant chocolate flake is. And you can now go and spy on anyone and adopt me. Say you're playing hide and seek. This is the best location you could ever go and hide. You can watch the little fishy. You can watch the penguins. I mean, if you're playing the new banks and robbers update, then hey, this is a pretty cool hiding location if you don't want to get arrested by the police and adopt me. We're now going to find out how to turn into a pet and adopt me without a tombstone. Let's go and check it out. This is actually a short by myself on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed and check out all the videos. Apparently what we need to do is select a skeleton, the headless head option, dress my pet and give it the biggest hat possible, then click ride and you've successfully became the pet without needing to get a tombstone. This sounds pretty easy, I need to go and get myself a rideable rock, I guess it is slightly expensive, this is Dwayne. We're gonna go and dress up, click down until we find this section, and then go and select the skeleton. You then want to go and remove any hats or accessories that you have, which might additionally poke out of the head. Then select the head area and find the headless head option, which is literally just this blank cube, and it will get rid of your head. And just like so, we then click ride on the pet, and we have successfully became the pet. This way is really effective and allows you to become the pet. It's massive, you don't need a tombstone, as tombstones are a very expensive thing to go and purchase. I highly recommend going and doing this one, as you're definitely gonna go and get some fun reactions to this. So this next hack is how to go and get a completely free pet. Supposedly what I need to go and do is pretend I am poor and adopt me and then people give you free pets. Pets. Okay, this sounds interesting. So I actually did a social experiment where I pretended I was poor, then anyone who donated me a pet, I went and rewarded them by going and giving them something 10 times better. So I'm gonna go and test this theory out, go and rename myself as Bin, stop the ride, and just go and sit over here. And the first person to donate me something will go and get a completely free ride potion. Now you might be wondering, why am I giving away a free ride potion? Well, at 500,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do the world's biggest ride potion giveaway. So you guys better like this video and subscribe for a chance of going and getting a completely free ride potion. The first person who gives this bin a pet goes and gets a prize. I didn't state what the prize is. Let's see who will risk it for the biscuits. This player literally just went and gave me a Kirin, so let's go and trade them and give them a surprise. That's actually such a generous pet to give them. So we sent them a trade, and this is a ride potion. Let's go and give this to them for free. And there we go, we've just confirmed a completely free ride a pet potion to a random stranger in Adopt Me because they gave a bin a free pet. That's pretty easy. 
And now I have probably the most expensive Kirin in Adopt Me.